The day begins in South Windsor, as it has for much of the past year. We got used to that. That's Marsha. She's 82. And her husband, Raymond, he's 85. We've been married 57 years. For the Mothas, months of trepidation. I have a hard time walking, and I'm afraid of the virus. Have turned to anticipation. We get, we get one another's nerves more often than usual. Really? <laughs> I think so, you know. He's right. He's right. Largely confined to their townhouse for the past year, Marsha and Raymond have done what so many seniors have needed to do, try to steer clear of COVID-19. I try to avoid meeting many people and keeping away from the public. The hardest part is I, it's not being able to see my daughter as much as I used to. But it appears they're headed in the right direction. From South Windsor to well, East Hartford, thing, right? the Mothas are on the move because vaccination day has arrived. Okay. I'm so excited. I'm like, thank it you. It is. It's like the little bit of the day is here. I know, I know. In just a few seconds. It's going to be a one, two, three. Did you do it yet? It's all done. It's all done. It's all done. Oh, it's nothing. Have eased nearly a year of anxiety. It makes me feel that I'll live through this. Congratulations. Thank you. I feel like, yes, yay. It's a good day. A very good day for Marsha and Raymond and everybody here outside Rensselaer Field where the vaccination clinic continues. As we reported last week, Dunkin Donuts Park will soon be another site for vaccinations. They could happen as early as February 6th. Here in East Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.